We're going to make some a button and some buttonholes that you can use with your jeans exercise in class. So to make a button, we're going to go to the ellipse tool. To make a perfect circle, I'm holding down my shift key. So there's the outer part of the button, and then I want to make the inner part. So copy paste in front, move that down, and then I'm going to grab both of these, copy paste in front, and scoot it over that way. A little bit too far. There we go. Then I grab, let's see, I'm going to fill it, so I'm swapping the fill and the stroke. And then I group these, so object, group, and then I grab both the circle and the four dots together, go to align, align to selection, it needs to be checked. Then click on this one, and then this one. So basically these symbols show exactly what they're going to do, how they're going to line up. Okay, so there's my button. Um, I think that these squares are too spread out, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, then I want to add that to my symbols right here. So with that already highlighted, I'm just going to click on this new symbol icon, and I'll call it button, actually just lowercase. And then the type is going to be a graphic. And then click OK. So there's my button. If I want to change the button color, just double click it when it's inside the symbol panel. And it'll come up all by itself. And then at this point I can go to my direct selection tool, click on that outer circle. Maybe I want it to be this color right here. Then just go back to this Double click on the page. Um, actually, let's, let's see. Let's make sure it's here. Yep, it's there. Okay, so then every time I um, drag this, I have a whole bunch of buttons in that same color. Okay, but let's just get rid of these for now. Then we're going to make a button hole. So there's a couple different ways. We can make just a rectangle. Um, and of course you want the opening to be slightly bigger than the button itself. Um, it should have no fill, but a black stroke. And the weight of the stroke, I'm just going to try like half a point. So 0.5. And again, I'm doing my round cap and corner. And then go to Effect, Distort, Zigzag. And then preview it. And of course, that doesn't look anything like a buttonhole, so you just need to change it here. Let's see, move this up and move this down. And you just play with it until you get the type of stitching that you want. Okay, that's one of them. You could do the same thing with a rounded rectangle tool. You know, so it's half a point, round this, round that. Effect, Distort, Transform, Zigzag. And then click on Preview. And unfortunately, it never remembers what you did last, so you have to slide these all over again. But you can play with all these different things and see what they do. Okay, so that's a huge buttonhole. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. I'm holding down my Shift key and resizing it that way. Wow, it looks really weird. So if I wanted to adjust it, then I cannot go back to Effect, um, Distort, Transform, Zigzag, because it's going to add a new effect on top of this one, and that's going to mess me up. So instead, I go to this tool. This is called Appearance, and if you don't see it here, go under Window to Appearance, okay? And then you just double-click on this Effects. This is your Special Effects. Double-click on this, or I guess just click once, and then you can adjust it. Okay, so here I'm, I'm able to make it smaller. Okay. Okay, then another one that you can do is, let's see, I can click to make sort of like a teardrop. I clicked and then I shift click here 
and I drag like that, like perfectly straight. I'm still holding down my shift key. Then I let go of my trackpad or my mouse, and then I let go of the shift last. Okay, then I'm gonna just close it here. Click on that. And it's pretty good. It sort of closes it so that it's pretty much the same on both sides. It may not be perfect, but it's close enough. Then you do the same thing, effect, distort and transform, and then zigzag. Preview. See, why does it not remember what we did last? It's sort of weird to me. Okay, so then we play with that. And then say I did that and I was like, oh, well that's pretty bad. Then remember, I have to go back to appearance and then zigzag and then adjust it here. Oh, preview. There you go.